one depends on the why. Mm -hmm. And you do normally distribute to those do the norm s in norm in. So you one of the first one you do in if. So if uh, y is one. If this mm -hmm. equals equals. No, just equals in this. Then this is what. Then this is a norm. In. Hmm. Probability is x to the coin toss. This thing. Mm -hmm. No, the second one. It can't be correlated. You can't use the same point. Okay. Um, comma. And then, so if it's a one, you're gonna have a mean of. Uh, mean of x1 which is this guy mm -hmm. f4 comma and standard deviation is at the bottom there okay and now to uh, go to the end of the formula yeah comma so now it's these two, right? Okay. So then you have a different. Uh, what was it at the beginning? So you know, one is like I'm taking the x values, right? So if if I have a red, the x values are between certain range, right? And if I have a blue, the x values are on our values are between another. Right? So if if I get a blue one, r red one, right? My x values are gonna be x1 values are gonna be on this part here, and if I get a blue one, my x1 values are gonna be between this part here, and then I later on do the x2. So if I get a red one, my x2 is gonna be in here range, and here my x2 is gonna be in this range. Yeah. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Do you understand how we threw a coin, right? In here? Yeah, to get the y. Yeah. Now we have to throw a coin to get the x1 and x2. What? What is this thing here again? This is the second coin. Okay. That we used to draw x2. They have to be independent. x2 and x3 and uh, probably they have to be independent, so I need three separate coin losses. Okay. Since if I, if there I draw is no zero x3. I mean the the alpha and x1 and x2 have to be independent. Okay, why is this alpha now? That's the point loss for the alpha. Okay. Okay. So this is the point loss for the x1. Okay. So if I have a red one, then this is 0 0.5, I'm gonna have something close to 3. Okay. This is one. I'm gonna have something close to three. Okay. And if this this is two, I'm gonna have something close to minus two. Okay. Okay. So that's what I wanna do here. Something close to minus two. Give me a number that's close to minus two. Yeah. So I'm missing something. You have to do exactly what you did for the first case. Same formula. But what's the value with false? That is the same formula normally. Okay. the coin does the same thing because mm -hmm. these two never happen at the same time right you're never gonna have these two at the same time so you can use the same coin you could have done a separate coin but you don't need to because they never happen at the same time you never have a d1 d2 equals one and d2 equals two at the same time so it's not gonna create some crappy independence uh, dependence why am i doing this norm in because you don't have a uniformly distributed data, you have a normally distributed data. So you're converting with the norm in view, you convert from uniform random number to a to a normally distributed random number. Excel is not able to generate random numbers drawn from a normal distribution. So this is not. not this is uniform. This is uniform. This is a number between zero and one. Okay. 
and you convert it into a normal distribution with mean and standard deviation. Okay. Random number from a normal distribution between mean and standard deviation. That's okay. the trick to do it. So the mean of the x1 if y is 2 is what? Mean of x1. Why is two? Why is two? Can I do it? It's a parameter. But we're still in this if thing. Yep, we are in the else part. We are if d two equals not is not equal to one, which means it's two. In here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the mean is. Minus two. Mm -hmm. cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. I closed. Okay, that's good. So we got the next one. And drag it down. Okay, so if you got twos, you see you got negative numbers. If you got ones, you have positive numbers. If you got twos, you have negative numbers. Okay. Okay. So now do the same thing for x two. Equals. If this thing here. No. Nope. First, you have to figure out whether it's a red or a blue. Okay. If this. Mm -hmm. I thought we did that in the else. It's equal to 2. 2, 1. one. Mm -hmm. Then do the norm stuff mm -hmm. again. It's x2, so you need the other coin because x1 and x2 has to be independent. So. Yeah. They're not then, let's just get everything on a freaking line. Okay. See? Mm -hmm. This is the same thing? Mm -hmm. Once you draw it, it's easy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Plot it the scatter graph. That's one next two. These two? Mm -hmm. And pick them up Yes. Mm -hmm. So now the question is I know these, right? I know the ones and twos, right? When I generated the data, right? Yes. But the whole idea of this game means is is let's say yeah I'm not given I'm not given the one or two so I gotta estimate it from here. Okay. Okay. So so this thing is an iterative algorithm. Okay. K means iterative mm. algorithm. Okay. So what you do is you guess. You guess a mean, and then you guess a label, and then you guess a mean, and then you guess a label. Yep. So, so, yeah. Yep. You guess a mean, you guess a label. So let's let's do a couple of guesses for the mean, and let's make them pretty bad. Okay. So you guess one of these things. All of them. You gotta guess all of them. At the same time. Okay. 